Okay, it's time to finally haul out the boat and do a lot of maintenance tasks on it. Let's show you what we're gonna work on, how the boat is looking and how much it's gonna cost as well. So the catamaran has a beam of 7.5 meters and the slot for the haul out crane is only just slightly larger than that. So I don't want any crosswind during it, be waiting for the wind to die down, which seems to be happening right now. So I think we're gonna call him up and get the boat out. Yeah, that's prima. Okay, so we're maneuvering the boat now. While we're doing that, we have to lower the fenders a little bit. Before they were to protect us from the other boats, now it's to protect us from the concrete dock that we're going into. So they have to go much lower and attach these lines to the front. I'll be doing that as well. Jolene is doing that and I'm keeping an eye on what the boat is doing. Once that's done, we'll go straight in there. You can see the lift in the distance. And that's it. We'll throw the lines to the guys. They'll be ready to guide us in. And there we are heading straight for the crane. Nice and slow, passing all the neighbors. Jolene is there ready to throw some lines. Lily's helping me too. And I'm scared, but we'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> and there's the boat in the in the lift position. As you can see, it is quite a tight fit. And there you go, the first and biggest cost, the lifting itself. 1181 euros for lifting out and back in, in the Alanya Marina in Turkey, for our 42 foot catamaran. Of course we needed pressure washing for the bottom of our boat, costing 149 euros. Well, so far so good, no problem at all with the lift out. Being cleaned nicely. Uh, yeah, it's dirty, but uh, the anti-fouling, I don't know. I think we'll get away with just refreshing, put some more anti-fouling after some sanding and that is it. So yeah, we're ready for lots of work. It'll be nice to get it done and then enjoy the summer. I'm excited. So, boat in its final place. While I was just uh, waiting, then chatting with the neighbors, come back. The boat is almost stationary here. Almost done. Then we can get some work going. So you can see behind me the boat's getting back in the lift because when we moved it here and it was propped up on the wooden blocks I didn't uh, see the damage that was under the keels. It should have had a better look. So now I know for next time. You just gotta move the blocks but for that we need the whole lift to lift it up slightly. Move the blocks and then I can uh, assess the damage properly and also do the repair. Right, now I was able to inspect the bottom there, no other surprises there, just looking at the other side now. From here, for if you can put a block from here forward, yeah. and then maybe one from here to there, but then leaving that free again, that would be good. Yeah. And that's it, lifting is done and the blocks are replaced, so I can now access those areas, work on them, fix it, and that's it, next time the lift comes, boat will go in the water. <laughs> Yeah, not for free, of course, this kind of thing, right? That would be really nice, but see, now I can work on this. Mm -hmm. 
So I've been filling up this one and the other one has some holes in it. Really kind of silly in a way. The block was lying exactly underneath that scratch before. And uh, it just had to move by like 10 centimeters. And you need the whole lift again. Oh well. I used these various materials to carry out repairs on the keel. I decided to work on three different through holes on the boat. The generator water intake, the depth sounder and the speed and temperature sensor. That's another through hole right there that uh, needed fixing. It looked very rusty so I just replaced it with a whole new one. Should be much better. Just put it in place now with plenty of Sigaflex, which is the marine sealant. And that round outlet there is actually the toilet uh, outlet, which was blocked. We couldn't open it anymore. So, but we managed to unblock it while we were on the heart. So that's good to go now again as well. This side of the toilets. Luckily, the other side of the boat was still working fine all this time. Friend is actually doing your dirty work. That's it. Managed to hire someone to open up our poop valve. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, right? <laughs> Live face first. Right, exactly. Assume the position. That's we'll it. Him with lunch. <laughs> yeah. I got a sandwich, it was a good deal. <laughs> I'll pop it back in the toilet when I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> no screen! Yeah, no that's. Gillen, what do you think? I've checked the plane for the rudders. That's pretty important to see how the bearings are, but it seems just a tiny bit, so hopefully they'll still. Be good to go for a few years. And then of course there's two of these bad boys called the sail drives. So I had to figure out how to take those apart. And they were quite well put together to be honest, nice and tight. But eventually got them off, take everything out, change the seal that keeps the oil inside and the seawater out, take that out and put new ones in and then put it back together again and then put paint on there so that there cannot be any sea growth on here oh yeah and don't not to forget to put new oil in as well of course because we drain that out using this little plug so this is the list for the sail drive maintenance using mostly Yanmar original parts and and the other thing is after sanding both the hulls down to make them nice and smooth to add two more layers of fresh anti-fouling on top Right, final day uh, in the water this afternoon, hopefully. And uh, I think we found some time to put in new bumper stripes or boot stripes. What do you call these things? Anyway, those ugly yellow things here. Time to replace those. What do you think? We are going for, well, you will see. Let's put them on. All right then, the before shot. And after this little job is done, it still take maybe two, three hours, all the stripes, but yeah, happy. From nearby is not really that pretty, but, uh, but we didn't want to remove the old stripe. That would be a lot of work. And what would you see underneath of that, right? So we kept that on and just put a new one over the top. It saves a lot of time. And then it looks like this from nearby. And from a few steps back, it's like this. We used a few big stickers to put these stripes on, costing 19 euros. I think next we'll go in the water. Well, not so fast. We also rented an apartment while we were out of the water, costing 710 euros for three weeks. Scary stuff, huh? <laughs> oh well, can't say we didn't try. So one of the through holes I uh, fixed, completely replaced. Well, almost completely replaced. Still leaking. I asked the guys to fix it for me because uh, 
lifts him back out is not that funny, right? So we're going to do that. Everything else looked fine. So here she comes out again. Well, 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 that's been exciting. So I just asked the marina staff really to fix this up for me. Must have done something not right, eh? And they did it, only took them 10 minutes. We're back in the water. Everything else looked fine before, so we'll double check again. And we should be good. That is good news. I thought we were gonna stay the night here. Any last thoughts, Rania? Ooh. Um, fingers crossed, I would say. Let's get it wet, but only from the outside, please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 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 it seems like we made it. We are wet <laughs> and dinner is cooking. It's been a little stressful, a bit stressful to be honest, but oh well. Here we are. Happy days. It won't be much longer now until we will start reaping the benefits of having a nicely maintained catamaran to go cruising with. We did almost all the work ourselves, made a few mistakes in the process, but with the huge advantage that we now know how to fix all these things ourselves. And we got to know our boat so much better. The total of all the costs mentioned was 4697 euros. I hope this helps some of you to get a better picture of the work and costs involved with owning and maintaining your own sailing catamaran. To see more of what adventures can be had, go ahead and watch one of our other sailing videos.